Hello and welcome back to the channel. Coming into the rain today, we have two amazing rendering software, D5 Render and Lumion. So we are going to compare these two rendering softwares to actually know which one comes out on top as the better real-time rendering software. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, before we move any further, I just want to remind you guys to make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos. So I'm just going to start with explaining what a real-time rendering software, giving, rather giving a brief definition. A real-time rendering software is a software that works independently of modeling softwares that you bring in a model from an external software and bring it to the real-time rendering software to create a kind of pseudo environment to bring out realistic renders or animation. So D5 Render and Lumion are actually two very popularly known real-time rendering software that architects and other professionals use. So we are going to examine some criteria and deduce which one comes out at the better real-time rendering software. Going to be making this comparison based on 10 criteria. then after giving them scores over 10 on the 10 criteria, we are now going to give them a sum total over 100 to actually decide which is better so we are going to start right away so firstly we are going to start with output quality both d5 and lumion actually has amazing output quality D5 has been working with their ray tracing render engine. Also, Lumion of recent has also introduced ray tracing, which gives us amazing output quality and good visualization rendering. So, in terms of output quality, I still feel D5 has the edge over Lumion. So, I'm going to give D5 an 8.5 rating over 10, while Lumion takes in a 7.5 rating, making D5 the winner of this category. The next category I'm going to compare this to in, or rather the next criteria, is actually the library components and materials. Both D5 and Lumion actually have a very good library. They also have very amazing realistic materials. But I think Lumion has more depth in terms of the library because they have a lot of plants, a lot of different families of plants, both coniferous and deciduous. D5 also has good library, don't get me wrong, but I feel that Lumion has more depth in their library and actually has a lot more things to offer once it comes to their library and materials. So I'm going to give Lumion a solid 9 over 10, then I'm going to give D5 a solid 8.5 over 10. The next aspect we are going to be comparing is the specialization for architects. So this talks about how well the software fits into architecture. So I believe that both Lumion and D5 were basically made for architects and their visualization. So I think both D5 and Lumion has a tie in terms of specialization for architects at 9 over 10 respectively. The next aspect we are going to be comparing these two is in the software interface. These two softwares are actually very easy to learn. I actually have a full series teaching people on how to use both D5 and both Lumion. You can check that out. The link will be in the description below. But back to the main topic, D5 and Lumion, they both have easy interface to learn. You can actually teach someone and the person will be able to grasp the basics in a day. So I'm going to give D5 a solid rating of 8 over 10 in user interface. Then I'm going to give Lumion a solid rating of 8.5 over 10. The reason why I gave Lumion a higher rating over D5 is because D5 actually you need to understand some principles especially when it comes to lighting and setting in D5. So it will actually give, makes it a bit more complex than Lumion. But overall, regardless, both of them are easy. But I think Lumion has the edge in this category. The next aspect we are going to be comparing is the fine tuning and development. What do I mean by that? Fine tuning and development is actually a score based on the rate at which the software company works to improve their product and their outputs and other things about the software. So Lumion has been developing over the years, no doubt about that. But I feel D5 team actually puts in more efforts to actually improve their software as much as possible. The, recently, D5 actually released a collaborative feature that many people can actually work on the same rendering project simultaneously, which is actually the first time I've heard that kind of thing for a real-time rendering software. So I think D5 has the edge in fine-tuning and development with a score of 8.5 over 10, while Lumion has a solid score as well as 7 over 10. So D5 is taking this one. The next aspect I'm going to be comparing is the software size. So when we install softwares, of course, they actually occupy a lot of space on our systems and so on. I think that the lighter the software is, the better it is because it actually is more economic to save more space for you to install other softwares. So I think that is a good criteria to compare to visualization software. D5 actually has an advantage here. 
because they actually store most of their library components online. So you need to be connected to the internet to actually access some components. So the main D5 application itself doesn't consume up to two gigabytes on your system or so. But unlike Lumion, Lumion actually consumes more than 30 gigabytes if you install it on your system. So D5 is packing Lumion in this one with a solid rating of nine over 10, while Lumion has six over 10 in terms of the software size. The next comparison we're going to make is actually related to the previous comparison, is system compatibility. This talks about how compatible D5 or Lumion is on a wide range of systems. So I actually think that Lumion is actually very taxing on systems, but D5 is another beast on its own. Like D5 used to actually make systems smoke. That is how intensive it is. G5 is very graphics intensive. It's actually even recommended that you use an RTX system minimum to be able to carry D5. I think it's 6 gig dedicated. But Lumion, Lumion, you can actually, especially the older versions of Lumion, you can actually use a relatively good system to manage it. And even for bigger system, it doesn't tax the GPU as much as D5 tax the GPU. So in this aspect, we are going to be giving D5 render a poor rating of 6.5. It's not really poor, but it's still a lower rating than Lumion, which has Lumion has a rating of 8 in this category. So Lumion is winning the category of system compatibility. The next category we are going to be talking about is speed and time, or time saving and speed. Okay, so in terms of time saving and speed. Both of these two rendering software actually saves lots of time. They're actually very good in time saving. Like I said earlier, D5 is easy to use, Lumion is easy to use, their interface are quite simple and you can actually get a good output in a short period of time. In this rating, they actually have a tie here, which both of them scores 9 over 10 in terms of the time saving and the time saving. Both of them scores 9 over 10 in the time saving. Now we are going to talk about the price. In terms of pricing, Lumion is very expensive. Ah oh, man, you're just ruining it. You're ru look at my lips. You're ruining it. Lumion is just too expensive. I think over one thousand two hundred pounds every year for the Lumion user to pay if he wants to use Lumion, which I think is exorbitant. But of course, it's their own software. I have no right to dictate their price for them. But I feel D5 throws Lumion in the mud in this category. With D5 having you to pay only $360 every year for yearly subscription. So Lumion has a poor rating of 4 over 10 in this aspect, while D5 has a solid rating of 8 over 10. Now, the next category is the X Factor, or rather, the final category is the X Factor. What do I mean by X Factor? X Factor is like Wow Factor. It's when you are using a software and the software actually, when using it, you actually be like, wow, I didn't know this software can do this kind of thing. So I used to experience that kind of wow factor a lot more when using D5. Lumion is an amazing software, no doubt about it. But I think D5 has this extra edge, maybe due to its render output and realistic quality, or maybe its animation quality, that actually gives me this wow factor. So I think in terms of the wow factor, I give D5 a solid rating of 9 over 10, while Lumion takes a rating of 8 over 10, which is also solid. So we have come to the conclusion of this video, and now we are going to give the overall results of what these two prestigious rendering softwares actually got. So Lumion actually got a rating of 76 over 100, which is good, but D5 won this um, competition or this comparison by having a rating of 84 over 100 overall. According to this result, I think D5 is actually a better visualization software considering the aspect. This is subjective as well because it's still my own opinion in the end. But I'm coming from a position where I've extensively used these both softwares and I actually feel overall D5, even from these criteria, is a better visualization software than Lumion. So if you don't agree, you could tell me in the comment section why you don't agree. If you agree, you could also follow me on Hype D5. You can also check out my tutorials on D5. I also have tutorials on Lumion too. So if you are interested in learning any of these two softwares, you can check the link will be in the description below. So if this video was helpful and you, it helped you learn a lot more about these two visualization software, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, 
It's not that hard. Just click subscribe button. Nothing will happen to you. Just do it! And support us by hitting the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos. Thank you and have a nice day.